The worksheet you are looking at here in this video is the handout that is provided in this module. It is an adaptation of the Bloom's taxonomy verb list. Now, just a couple things I want to draw to your attention here. Uh, you may research other areas in other design models and in other institutions and corporations that may have their own adaptation of Bloom's taxonomy verb list. You may also see modified versions of this worksheet that come from earlier versions based on different research and instructional design processes revisions. So just a couple things I want to point out to you in terms of how to use this worksheet. And if you don't use this one, you can use another one, uh, or, an, or you may want to ask your institution or your organization if they have one specifically within their instructional design uh, standards and style guide. Remember the six areas that we talked about in the earlier portion of the course? And remember, these are verbs that are essentially associated specifically with what you are looking for learners to be able to perform or demonstrate from a behavior or capability perspective upon the completion of the learning of incident. So just keep in mind of what we're looking for specifically that are across here. Note the dreaded understand that's here. Notice that understand essentially is not its own measurable verb. The process to understand is an actual concept. So these are words that should be used in place of a person's ability to demonstrate their ability to understand what you are trying to teach them. Another aspect to keep in mind that for those of you that work in higher education, keep in mind that the undergraduate courses will typically be using Bloom's verbs that are from the one, two, or three areas. And those of you working in corporate learning development and also in higher education, you should be focusing on using verbs from the Bloom's four, five, and six areas that will match essentially Kirkpatrick levels three and four learning design scheme. So keep in mind of what you want to want the learners to be able to perform and, de and demonstrate their ability to do, but keep in mind you also want to think about the level on which you are actually setting for for them in that learning experience. It's very important that you pick not only the right behavior, outcome, and ability, but you also align it to the specific levels that we talked about earlier in this course in the section on Bloom's taxonomy. I hope you enjoyed this worksheet. If you do not have one or are looking for another one, again, consult with your organization or your institution if there is another one that they prefer you use in place.